Well, I'm Tom Dempsey, founder and leader here at Sylvan Sport. And as many of you know, we've been making our uh, widely acclaimed and award-winning Go pop-up camper for over 15 years here in Brevard, North Carolina. A couple of years ago, we decided to take the same skill set we applied to the pop-up camper and apply it to the travel trailer and completely reinvent the travel trailer from the wheels up. So here is our vast travel trailer. I'm going to tell you all about it today, hopefully answer uh, all of your questions, and let's dive in. So first, uh, first of all, we'll take a little bit of a walk around the outside of the vast. As I mentioned, we started from the wheels up, so wheels, chassis, suspension, all that stuff we'll get to in a moment, but the most important components of a travel trailer are our good, solid exterior body. So we worked with a uh, local company here to create a proprietary composite skin and a wall system that I'm gonna show you more details of in a little bit. But just talking about the exterior features of the vast, this is, as I said, all composite and aluminum, uh, lightweight, heavy duty, uh, automotive level molded doors. For, for example, this beautiful rear cargo door assembly. It in itself is a work of engineering art but it allows access to a really cavernous space. This rear lounge slides forward pretty far to allow you to put a lot of cargo in here. Slides back to allow, uh, you know, lots of good interior space, which we'll get to in a moment. But really nice, big, gigantic rear access door for cargo. Um, as you can see, we'll talk more about these on the inside, but gigantic double pane acrylic windows. So. Another aspect of a well-built travel trailer is a great R value and the, the vast is except, exceptional in that regard. A couple of basics. Uh, well, before we get to those, I was gonna say our team of experts are on hand and answering your questions in our chat right now, but more in-depth questions we'll handle at the end of the overall demo. So if your question is not answered now, we, uh, we'll come back to it as we get near the end. Um, basics like exterior road lighting are all LED, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. Getting to sort of the road side, the business side, if you will, of a travel trailer, we've got the connections all neatly and nicely organized at this area. Um, fresh water tank, fresh water is 32 gallons. Um, city water connection, cable connection, electrical connections. We have a really unique feature on the vast that we are excited about. Most travel trailers have historically considered carrying big bulky gear like kayaks and surfboards, uh, stand up paddle boards and those type of things as an afterthought. You definitely don't want to get up on the roof of a travel trailer and have to strap those down. So we created a, uh, you know, we, we thought about that from the beginning of the design and made the trailer such that you can attach those to this roadside. So we've got this really nice system where these kayak cradles fold out, they're swing away, so they, they uh, pop right in, but we've got adjustable uh, connectors here that allow you to strap two boards or two kayaks uh, on this side quite effectively and not have to lift them very high. Super rugged heavy duty fenders on the vast sit on top of a 5,000 pound axle. So great, you know, stability, load capacity. The uh, connection for gray water, gray water clean out. While you're looking down there, you can see the stabilizer jack system that's accessible through these holes. And here we have the uh, access port for the cassette toilet. Uh, and an outside shower system. Another nice feature about this roadside, there's a, a utility light here, so if you're loading or unloading in the dark, the whole side is lit up nicely. As we move around toward the front, you'll see that both sides, both corners of the front, this one shows it a little better, have really robust handles, so Kind of like they do in Europe, we've got these handles to fine tune the positioning of your vast travel trailer on site and you can move it around by that. A uh, two inch connector on the front and a Fulton uh, 
jack dolly jack system four pin or excuse me a seven pin connector for electrical breakaway brakes you may notice something that's missing on the front of, a va of the vast and that would be stuff like propane tanks and spare tire and all well they're here they're just neatly hidden behind this cavernous cargo box so as you can see we have dual propane tanks over here cut off valve spare tire uh, mounted nicely behind here and we also have utility lights under this section as well so if you needed to access any of that at night when you're buttoned up in there you button up out here by pushing this back and of course you have access to a really nice cargo space. So we just rolled this in out of the rain and uh, we've got uh, quite a voluminous cargo space here that has uh, lighting as well. So lockable and waterproof. Uh, our front cap is also nicely engineered and uh, a really solid piece of you know technology behind it uh, is where you'll find our wi-fi and uh, cellular cellular antenna to be connected to the outside world if that's what you want to do when you're camping so before we go inside and talk about the features inside let's talk a little bit more about how the vast is made so we're in our factory in the section where we build vasts uh, the section where we build goes and go easy is just over over there and it's late later in the day friday so the manufacturing team have all hit the road for the weekend um, as i mentioned really the construction of the vast being a, a huge part of it um, these are really heavy duty extrusion profiles that make up the exterior framework of the vast they're all powder coated and um, again just really really heavy duty work here those get combined with what uh, we have our state-of-the-art panels to make up the vast and i mentioned that it was a proprietary composite it comes in both our signature sylvan sport green and a really nice uh, gray on gray composite as well so pretty nice uh, if you need me to sh hold those for a closer look And, and as you can see, kind of how, how this is made, heavy duty insulation in between some really robust layers of composite. And that is a very lightweight, very strong panel. So this is only a tiny sample. These are actual production panels here. They're engineered such that they have uh, pultrusions inside of them for reinforcement where necessary and uh, aluminum at the exterior boundary. We're gonna walk inside a vast. Again, before we look at a finished one and all its features, let's just take a look at this one, because I think it's pretty cool. Our goal with the vast is to have a travel trailer that allows you to leave technology behind when you want to but if you want technology it's all there at your fingertips so to kind of make all that work behind the scenes and not be in your face or troublesome this is really the nerve center of the vast over here and there's a half mile of wiring in this system that all terminates with automotive level connectors automotive level wiring um, you'll find second to none in, in the travel trailer space We also think it's pretty cool that our vast owners to date can uh, generate more power than they can use in a typical day from the solar system that's mounted on the roof. So here's one of our production trailers and you can see we have really nicely executed 800 watts of solar on the roof. And that pairs up to two 125 amp hour lithium ion batteries in a uh, switching system that allows that all to be used without having to really think it through too much.
You ready to go inside? All right. Just a little note, exterior outlet expected. Really nice exterior lighting, both up at the awning level. And our factory lights are up today, so you may not be able to see this too well, but ground effect lighting essentially uh, for a nice ambiance at the campsite or utilitarian if you're out on the side of the road loading. So first and foremost, um, super high quality door system, nice and tight and lockable with a window and screen, nice insect screen as well. Lit grab handle over here. Um, when you come in the vast, we're gonna just pause for a moment here at the entrance because I'm standing right in front of the kitchen. So if I were in um, colder weather or just making a quick roadside stop, I may wanna fix something up here in the kitchen. Uh, and I have next to it a nice little powder room, essentially. So uh, that's how the vast looks in this mode. So everything fully functional inside here. But what's really cool is when I get to camp, I can open this door and I can roll my glide slide kitchen out and have this thing super nice all outside right here. So we'll go back in the, in the inside in a minute and show you what that looks like. But out here, I've got a full kitchen, two burner gas stove, microwave, water, a utility rack to add different types of components to hold gear, um, lighting, a nice fridge freezer. So this can either be all freezer or all fridge, however you choose to set it up. And you can also take this thing out and use it if you needed to, uh, separate from your vest. So good utility storage in the kitchen. And what's really nice is in most campsites, this is the living space in the campground. And you might have vehicles driving along the front road there. This actually forms a really nice privacy barrier. And if I go ahead and put the uh, awning out, I've really got an enjoyable space to cook and hang out. So right now, I'm just gonna put that out far enough to shield my kitchen. I won't put it all the way out, although it does go out considerably further. And it's a super high quality Thule awning with the uh, wind retract feature. So the best we could find. Pretty much with everything in the vast, if we don't make it ourselves, we find the best available componentry available. All right. So now I'm gonna show you one of the other cool features. You saw how I slid the kitchen out. I just closed this door and why don't you come on inside and, and uh, have a seat and lounge, Mr. Sale Cameraman, and I'll show you kind of how this works here. So this is now sealed off from our outside space and I can come in here and you can follow me and this is the only time though we don't do this normally. I like my privacy in the bathroom. Uh, I've got, I'm 6'5", so it's, it's funny. Me demoing the vast is, is kind of funny. I mean, I'm selfishly, everything is designed to fit me. So I'm in the shower. I've got a giant full-size shower in here. Every uh, aspect of this, including this storage, I can access my toiletries here. I've got a fan above me in the shower space. And again, I have my whole full-size bath now with medicine cabinet and sink hot water toilet down here so I think it's pretty cool that in a trailer that is a 15 foot box essentially we get the features and functionality of a much much bigger and heavier travel trailer all packed into this space bathroom uh, good storage out in the main part of the vast uh, lots of different spaces for things down here 
As I mentioned, we're going to focus just a bit, and I'm going to sit down while we talk about the control screen. So this is, this is the primary control system for the VAST. And I mentioned that uh, you may want to digitally detox when you're in the outdoors, and that's great. So everything can function in an analog way. Light switches are all over the vest in the places you would expect them. But uh, if you want to tech out and really you know, get into everything here, you can set every single light system to the level you want. It'll memorize that. When you turn the lights off, it'll retain those settings when you turn them back on. Um, temperature control. We have a Truma Combi Camp system for hot water and for uh, heating the interior, a uh, Dometic uh, air conditioning unit for cooling, uh, vent fans I mentioned for the bath, shower, and kitchen, and then uh, various uh, programming for the overall unit. So pretty cool. That, everything you just saw on that screen pairs up with an app. So if I had, if I were looking at my phone, uh, every, you know, the graphics you just saw would be duplicated on the screen of your phone. So if you were out on a hike and uh, the weather changed, for example, you can make changes to your vast climate control system, close the vents, whatever you might need to do from anywhere that you have a signal. So we'll switch places here and I'll show you some of the other neat stuff. Um, this is our, our lounge. So, you know, what I wanted to do when, when I come back from being out all day on an adventure is have a really nice cushy place to kick back, hang out. And uh, this lounge does it. It's uh, really nice, thick, cushy cushions. Um, it's got a table that, uh, can function in two different positions that stores underneath here. Uh, and what's neat, when I mentioned earlier in the rear cargo area, if that door is open, this lounge slides forward all the way up to here. Now I have all that rear cargo space and I still retain all the functionality inside my vast. So everything works just the same. I don't have to unload any cargo to enjoy these features. I can use my table in this position. All I lose is a little bit of floor space. When I get to where I'm going, I can push this lounge back and uh, I can convert this lower lounge into one of the two queen size beds that's on a vast. So I'd take this cushion out. I'm going to reuse this in a minute but this has got to be the easiest converting lounge into a bed. It's basically just a rollover like that that takes this out. And then this becomes kind of part of the headboard there. I'm surrounded by pillows. So yeah, that's, that's about it for converting that. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Um, Another cool feature, and I mentioned two queen size beds, so let's stick this back here. The other one has been above me the whole time. It's got a uh, very unique lighting system underneath here, which we'll show you in a moment. We call these our Kai lights, named after Kyle Munt, chief designer here at Sylvan Sport. So Kyle came up with this creation. Uh, they're pretty neat. They're right now kind of an ambient light. They can be set to be a utilitarian bright light, or they even come with an app to program them to do cool stuff with music. So I mentioned the bed. I come over here, I just push this button and we've got a little light there so i won't take this all the way down uh, this becomes the primary bed let me move this just out of the way a little bit that's good so take this down and show you even more there we go yeah so this is a super comfortable bed we actually custom make this mattress system ourselves here in partnership with a company called engineered sleep and uh 
when they say that, they mean it. This is the most comfortable RV mattress and bed system you'll find. I know a lot of RV owners are used to having to replace the mattress with something more comfortable. I don't think that would be the case with this one. So we have some of our employees here have been using this as their primary bed for years and uh, still quite happy with it. Oh, before I forget, if you're in bed and you want some more ventilation, got a really nice skylight system up here that you can even climb out onto the roof from in here. Uh, but beautiful openness with an insect screen and a darkness screen as well. Probably can tell there's some private uh, reading lamps and throughout the vast in various places, including in the bed, are QI chargers, just like this one here. We're using it actually, or using one of the USB ports right now for our lighting in here, so um, making use of that. But those are, there's more of those up in the bed area. Also, what's cool in when you're uh, ready to get up and hit the day, make coffee, whatever, uh, you just push this button and uh, the vast kind of makes the bed for you. You can leave it messy, push it up out of the way and uh, not have to look at that. So we love that. Um, yeah, I mentioned I'm kind of going a lot, a lot of different places here and covering a lot of ground quickly. So thank you for staying with me. Uh, high quality flooring, very durable uh, underneath the lounge is our electrical load center, both high voltage and low voltage DC uh, switches for the lithium ion batteries. That's this. You can see the small ducting for the Truma CombiCamp furnace system. We even have a waylight charger and a couple of waylights over there tucked in. I showed you the windows from the outside. We'll take a quick look from the inside. These are the largest uh, RV windows made in an acrylic molded double pane insulated window. And they've got a really nice um, window screen here and privacy screen as well. So you can kind of tailor how you want that. These two join. So that's the interior of our vest. Oh yeah, we have the same window here in the back. So if I wanted to open the back, and that really brings up, I'm gonna um, ask Brandon to open these windows here for me so I can kind of talk about, get the back one as well, Brandon. These go up and they automatically latch onto this little feature right there. That's how you release it, that's how you lock it. But when he opens the back one, you can kind of see I'm in the vast, but if I were outside camping, I'm really in the outdoors. I mean, one of the things our go owners love is the fact that you're in a nice comfy shelter, but you're still camping. And we wanted to preserve that feel here in the vast. So if it's inclement weather, you can shut this thing down, put the kitchen inside and be really nicely buttoned up and co comfy cozy. If the weather's beautiful, like we hope it is for most of your camping, then open this thing up and enjoy the outdoors. That's what it's made for, and I love it. We, we can't think of any better way to camp. So, um, I guess we'll dig into your questions. What have we got here, Erica and Sale? We've got the team standing by. There was a question about the tube along the floor for the table. Sure. Yeah, Sale, you can... Swing right in here. So this is the, the uh, tube for the table and it pops into the floor there. The table which was stored under the bed drops onto it like that. And there's two different positions for this table. You can also rotate it depending on which of the two locations you put it. Put it in here, you know, if I have it like this, or again, depending on 
The two different positions are really related to where your lounge is. If you had cargo in the rear area, you would move the lounge forward, have the table in the foremost position. But if you're back here like this, you'd probably want to have it back here. Great question. Someone asked, how low will the bed go? So uh, we can do that again. You can actually take it pretty low. I'm going to move this cushion down a little bit more. There we go. So this is about as low as I would take the bed. It's all it's down just about touching the the uh, bottom or the top of the lounge. But you'll notice the cabinetry next to it. All of our cabinetry is super robust. You don't really need a ladder to climb up into the bed, uh, but we include one if you want one. Yeah, I'll show the ladder while I'm here. It's retained on the wall here. And it has hooks right here and here to attach the ladder. As I said, that's depending on who's using the bed. If it's uh, young kids, you might want to have the ladder. If, you, if it's larger people, they may not need it. Okay, we have a couple of outside questions now. The first one is about the stabilizer jacks. So our crank handle for those is stored in the front box. And these are really simple crank down jacks at this point. There's a uh, opening right near where they are. And I'm actually increasing that one, so it's, but that's how they retract. Okay, I'm not going to retract it all the way because I don't want our trailer to be unstable if we go back inside, but that's basically how it works. And you can also do this with a battery operated drill. The other exterior question was about uh, kayaks. <clears throat> so, uh, and I come from a long history of kayaking, so this is near and dear to me. First, these are adjustable up and down. So right now, I think these are not quite, but almost in their lowest position. So you would low put these at the lowest setting. These could be adjusted for a second kayak, depending on how big your first kayak is. Uh, these just fold out, they go either direction, like that. But when they're out here, the purpose of these is to hold the kayak while you're strapping it to the trailer. They're not really intended to carry the kayak's load, they're just there as a convenience factor. So you put the kayak on here, and these adjustable tie-down cleats they remove with no tools and you can locate them wherever you need them. And you would run your straps from a lower one around the kayak up to the upper one and that would secure them. And again, if you forget to put these away and you were, someone's walking by here, you know, they just swing out of the way. Hopefully that answers the question. Yeah, the, oh, thank you. The lounge is forward, so I'm going to close this window and uh, 
show you how much space we have back here. I think the actual cubic volume is listed on our website. I don't know that figure offhand. Um, but you can see, let me make sure I have that rear jack down. Um, most of our customers can get two regular size bikes in here. If they're kids' bikes, you can squeeze in three or four. Lots of Rubbermaid cargo bins or the equivalent type cargo bins. Uh, just really a lot of space in here. Well, the Vast doesn't come standard with a ramp, but uh, actually any ramp would uh, easily connect to it if you needed something that was necessary to have a ramp. Yeah, we got a question about the sofa cushions. Um, these, they do have a zipper. They're not necessarily designed to be removed for cleaning, but they could be, as you can see. I'm able to unzip it and take it off if I had to. And they are all like that. Good question, I like that question. Our team here is relaying your questions to me, so that's the uh, delay here. Uh, while I'm waiting for the next one, I will mention that inside the rear cargo area as well, there are some uh, tie downs that are um, fastened directly to the chassis. Well, somebody asked if Tom's big full-size mountain bikes, it fits in the back. So somebody who knows me knows that my, my bike is giant. I'm 6'5". So uh, yes, it does fit in the back, but I do have to turn the uh, handlebars and front wheel slightly askew to fit it in there. So if I'm putting in two bikes, I nest them kind of like that, front wheel to rear wheel. Um, The uh, tie downs that are in the rear cargo area here, I would just mention these. So again, if you were wanting to secure a, a heavy load, um, that would be great. Someone asked a question about the capacity of the kayak racks. Uh, we rate them at 150 each. So they can handle pretty good sized boats. Sure. Brandon is returning the stabilizer jack. So when it's time to go, um, the first thing we would want to do inside is make sure that our, I didn't really show you the shower curtain here, but this shower curtain, if you can kind of come down in here, this is pretty cool. So this shower curtain actually goes around the shower, but it has an integrated drain to the shower drain. So if we just showered and this was soaking wet and dripping, you can stuff that in there and it's actually all the runoff water is draining into the main drain. So, you know, we believe we've thought of everything. And while I'm in here, this is just the utility access port to the Wi-Fi antenna that is in the front dome. Um, but I would make sure my shower is stowed. And then come out here, uh, put away any loose utensils lower my stove, make sure everything's in. This uh, stainless steel shelf, and I should mention the whole ex kitchen is uh, covered in stainless steel, so if you do leave it out in a rainstorm, nothing's gonna be damaged. But I'll lower this shelf, uh, make sure my door is loose. And again, we, we are really thoughtful designers. We designed this cleat that holds the door nicely firm 
if you forget to undo that, it's not going to damage anything. It'll, as you push this, it'll slide out of the way. So I push that. There is a extra security latch in there, which I just, you probably heard it go. That's, to, that's double locked. And then triple locked is the exterior door. So those have keys to lock them, but that's, that's it. The kitchen's buttoned up and ready to hit the road. Sure. Um, someone asked about water storage and hookup. We have a 30 gallon onboard freshwater tank, uh, and we have a 32 gallon onboard gray water tank. We use a cassette toilet for black water, but the city water connection is here, and the so this attaches to just a standard uh, garden hose. Whoops. Right there. And then this is the tank fill for the onboard tank. And I should mention that both of those go through a filtration system inside our utility box. And I'm going to take you over to one of our goes under construction to show you the interior of that utility box. Excuse me, vast. I get our babies mixed up just like any good parent. <laughs> um, and forgive me, this one is under construction. So we're kind of looking at things here in the works. But uh, I mentioned our Truma Combi Camp uh, hot water heater furnace, which sits in the front here. This is the electrical panel, the low voltage side, the high voltage side. This is the 12 volt uh, water pump. So if you're not on city water and just running from the tank, this will operate battery powered and it'll run all the water through this filtration system here. So that has a pretty standard system for replacing that filter. Um, it even comes with the uh, filter change wrench there. At the back of this space are the lithium ion batteries and the solar uh, switching system. So I mentioned about the solar um, being pretty much automatic in that when you're on shore power, the system's going to detect that and it's going to run on shore power. When you unplug, it's going to detect that. And, it's, and either way, shore power or uh, uh, off the batteries, the solar panels will continually charge the batteries. But that, this little system back in here is what controls the charging, make sure the batteries are optimally charged, not overcharged, and they, that interfaces with the solar panels on the roof. Um, while I'm talking about it, the interior walls are the same composite as the exterior walls, and the flooring is waterproof, so if you wanted to hose your vast out after heavy use, no problem. It's going to be just fine. There's a question about having an inverter and if the solar panels fail. Are Great questions. We had a question about uh, whether we have an inverter or converter, and the answer is yes. We offer either or. So the converter is standard. The inverter is an optional uh, thing that we install here at the factory, no problem. And if the solar panels were to fail, uh, first I should say that if there's a partial damage, the remainder of the panel will still function. So if, for example, you had a stick that fell and damaged a section of the panel, the remaining percentage of generation is going to remain intact and functional. However, if you want, when it comes time to replace that panel, they are glued to the roof. Uh, Service-wise, it's a piece of cake to remove them and replace them. Oh yeah, um, Brandon, our head of engineering, just reminded me one other thing. When you're up on that roof, if you choose to go up there through the skylight, you can walk on the solar panels. It doesn't harm them at all. They're just fine. Let's see. Our, uh, we got a question about what's the weight limit on the roof or restrictions. The, the main restriction is use your common sense and be careful, uh, but it'll easily handle 300 pounds and a point load on the roof. Is it considered 
the, or the vast as it comes standard needs to be winterized. Uh, we definitely will have a four season option coming out soon, but the current standard vast is a three season product. And winterization right now consists of draining the water tanks. We're grateful for your questions and, and very nice comments that uh, Erica is relaying to me. So thank you so much for that. We're grateful for you guys in Sylvan Sport Land. Does the awning have a wind sensor? We had a question as to whether the awning has a wind sensor, and it, it does. Um, it has a, uh, actually, I'm going to let Brandon answer that question because he's signaling me, and I don't know, I don't know what his signals mean, but, <laughs> but uh, yes, Brandon. Yeah, the um, awning comes with a standardized um, two sensors or two levels. It's got a high and a low, so you can set it to, you know, retract under a low wind setting, or you can turn it down to a low sensitivity and it'll retract under a high wind load. So what I'm hearing is it's an adjustable setting for the wind speed, high and low, or, okay. Or, off. or it can be turned off completely, but I wouldn't recommend that. Also a question about the power roof fan. I saw one in the shower, is there another one? Great questions. We had some questions about the fans. There are two of them. There's one over the bathroom and one over the kitchen, or if that becomes the shower. And they are controlled here from the control panel. Sale, if you want to come look at the, con oh, well, Sale activated it, pointing out what I said earlier about the fact that it can be analog or digital. Uh, he used the, the uh, analog switch there. So that fan is now operational. It does have a rain sensor. So if you left that fan, like I do when I'm camping in my vast, I, I love to leave those running at night for ventilation and a little white noise. Uh, I've had times where rain came up overnight and the sensors work. They turn the fan off and, and close them. Yeah, I'm gonna use the mic to show you how quiet this is. I'm going to reattach my mic here. We had a question, uh, can the fridge be used inside along with the fridge and, uh, can the kitchen be used inside along with the fridge and freezer? And the answer is absolutely yes. So I'll go ahead and show you. I'm standing in front of it inside. I've got my uh, timbre door open, bathroom closed. I can access everything. I have the, the fan operational right above the stove area. Um, there's a little lock switch that is foot activated to release my fridge freezer so I know it's a little tough to see out from outside but I'm in the fridge freezer right now I'm at my countertop space and uh, everything's fully usable the yep I had a question about our cabinetry and as you can see it takes a little force to release them they've got a locking positive locking system there and that has to be activated so they do stay in all the other cabinet doors and drawers have a locking latch feature. So that's locked and that's unlocked. And adjustable shelving. Uh, similarly in the bathroom, the medicine cabinet has a positive latch feature. I have to push it in to access it and it's got ledges on the shelves to retain items during travel. And I have to push it in to lock it. What's cool I mentioned about on the touch screen if you uh, wanted to customize your light settings, you can, but then when you come here and you just hit light master off, that turns everything off. And if I come back and hit light master on, it turns them all back on at my retained settings. So if I had done some custom dimming of lights here and there, it'll keep all that in its memory.
we had a great question and it was is there anything we didn't think of and uh, if there is it's on our list for future improvements I'm sure but uh, you know we're pretty thorough here our, our history at Sylvan Sport I'm an industrial designer um, I'm gonna go f hunt down our cameraman but uh, but yeah our history at Sylvan Sport I'm an industrial designer uh, I'm looking at products behind me that I designed 20 years ago in the kayak industry. Our Go is, you know, uh, honestly uh, has won uh, countless design awards. The Vast has won several design awards, and that's what we do. Our, our DNA here is really about probably four things. It's excellence in design, excellence in engineering, excellence in construction, and the absolute best service available. So we know Sylvan Sport is a smaller company. Uh, we're celebrating our 20th year in business this year, so that's exciting. But we really bend over backwards to deliver the best customer experience and customer service out there. So if you make the choice to go with a vast, rest assured, you're gonna get white glove service for a long time to come. And our current customers of GOES and earlier VAST buyers, I'm sure, can all attest to that. We're going to repeat another look inside the storage box in a sec. Somebody asked if they could see inside the storage box again. So, yep, it, as I said, it's lockable. Um, and it's got a little retaining bar. But uh, pretty big. I, I'm pretty sure I can crawl in there and, and hide. But... Another nice feature of how I showed how this slides forward is that behind it, we know not only do we have our propane tanks uh, and our spare tire, but we have this nice utility tray. So on this tray is where I put like a little plastic bin with my gray water hose or any other tools required for roadside service. And they're all hidden and nicely secured when traveling. Someone asked a question about propane tanks in general. So you can see there's two tanks with a, uh, a switch in the middle that allows you to uh, go from the, a full to an empty and then a regulator in between. Well, we're getting ready to wrap up our tour, our virtual Facebook tour of the VAST here this afternoon. So if we have any other questions, we'll be happy to answer them. Um, otherwise, I think we'll get going. Of course, it did, probably a given, but the VAST and Sylvan Sport are RVIA certified. We're, we've been a member of RVIA since our inception, and every VAST comes with that assurance as well. Well, if you're interested in learning more about Avast, please reach out to us on any of our platforms, whether it's social media, email, telephone, chat, and we can help you with more specific questions uh, to tailor your Vast to your needs and get it set up exactly the way you want it. Uh, we require a $1,000 deposit on Avast, and the ones that you see right here in the factory are just about complete. This one's complete and ready to go to a customer, and we'd love to have you join us. So uh, with that, I will wrap things up for today, and thank you so much for taking time out of your Friday to join us here at Sylvan Sport. And uh, again, we're, we're here for you for any questions and for uh, all your needs related to camping. Have a great weekend, everybody, and thanks again.